Hey guys, and Stay in the Rain here. This is take two of my newest Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over rendering your animation and naming it and saving it and uploading it to YouTube and all that stuff. So first off, if you want to render an animation, we need an animation to render. So we're going to quick create a really quick animation by hitting this button, hitting Alt-A to start playback, and moving this around like so. Just a quick test, and we'll set this start frame to about here, end frame, like, wrong frame, about there. This really isn't that important. It's just for the test purposes of this animation. Change that to heavy. Alright, so we have our animation, and don't be worried on how I did that. That's not what the focus of this, this tutorial is about. Drag you out. Okay, so... This is in response to Flusecraft's tutorial on how to render your basic animation. His tutorial used one method of rendering that I don't find very professional and can lead to corruption and sometimes really bad outcomes. So, what he did was he chose his output folder and rendered directly to a movie file, which is not what you want to do. You want to render to one of these. Rendering to individual images allows you to pause during the render or and render like into different types of files without taking an insanely long time to render. So there are many advantages to, to this, which um, regular rendering directly to an image file, not image file, movie file, can do. So when we render, we'll click our that folder. Um, I know not that folder, that link. Well, I made a new folder to render it in and delete that. That was my previous recording. Why is it not letting me delete? Oh well. And I guess I'll just make a new folder. Maybe directory test animation cube fly two. It put nothing in there. Just hit accept. And now we'll hit render and each individual frame will be put into that folder. Alright, that's probably the fastest rendering process you've ever seen, because I sped that up. Alright, so, in that folder that we selected, all of the image files have been already saved there. So what we're going to do now is change, choose screen layout, I don't know why there's a hyphen between lay and out, video editing, add, image, navigate to the place where you stored all those files, hit A to select all of them, add image strip, and use G to grab this, and it doesn't matter which track you place it on, just make sure the number that's displayed right here is the same as this number. And the same thing for that, the number at the end. That number up there is the same as this number. That's all we need to do here. So click that, go back. Now we can choose which output format we want. Avi Codec has a pretty big file that I think it does audio. Avi JPEG is a smaller file, but it doesn't work half the time for me. Never use that. H.264 is the best one in my opinion. MPEG is okay. I don't use that often. I don't use AUG or XFID a lot. H.264. Now, make sure that, I think it's around here, that in post-processing, you have sequencer. Make sure that's checked. It will be by default, but if for some reason, if your cousin came up and screwed up with your Blender machine, you might not have that checked. So make sure that's checked. Now if we hit render animation, it'll go through all those frames at rapid speed, and no I'm not speeding this up, and it'll make a movie file. So if we navigate to the place where that file is located, which mine should be in here. If you click on this file, the generated image file, not image file, movie file, it's it plays. And of course we can rename it with F2 
or hit rename like that and so now I can compare this to Flizcraft's method where if you render this you wouldn't have any of these image files which you may think is oh I don't I can save all the space but if you want to render this like take a break during your rendering like you're playing a game or something and your render uses too much power of your computer you can pause the render and resume it by taking the last frame that you rendered so if we stopped at frame 52 we would set this to 53 and just hit render animation again but yes we would have to make sure that this is set to PNG and so if you also want to render to different image formats like to a um you want to try a uh, codec uh, H.264 and a uh, AUG you could do that but with a flux with uh, uh, Flucecraft's method, you can't exactly do that without rendering everything over again. But if you have a fast computer, I mean, it might work better for you because I'm on a laptop, okay? And it's not the best thing for rendering, but it works pretty well for me. So, if you want to get rid of all these files, you can just use Shift and select with your arrows, delete, get rid of these last ones, delete, and now you're left with a movie file. You can add sound to this in some video editor, or upload it to YouTube, or whatever you want it to do. And I think that's pretty much it. This has been Insane in the Rain, with my blend of tutorials. If the Flus Crafters are watching this, be sure to comment, because you're kind of my idol. Um, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope to make more videos for you guys soon.